Hello folks, welcome back to Kuna EXP. We're currently at Tahiti Woods with Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. He's just over there. And we're just doing an experiment with the Nicrophonic app at this tree. This tree is known to be used for people hanging themselves in the past. And we're just trying to see if we can communicate with anyone. So if you see anything or hear anything, please let us know. Please timestamp it and we can research it. Thank you. Yeah. That was a bird. Birdie. My phone plays up a bit sometimes, folks. There we go. Right, so we're right down the bottom part of Tahiti Woods. Hello? Just put that away. Right, bear with us. Okay. Oh. Right, we're on the way over. Get your dirty gloves on. You ready? Come on, listen. Be really quiet. Listen. If you're there, can you speak to me? Touch me or touch Mark next to me? Or show yourself. Don't be afraid. There's noise over there. Can you speak to me? <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to a bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. Do you know, I've walked past this tree many times. I didn't realise that uh, people have taken their lives there. What, this tree? That tree, yeah. Yeah, it's really sad. Yeah, it is. <coughs> there it is, folks. You've got to be really desperate to do that, haven't you? Heartbreaking. What a misery there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of sadness and misery. Oh yeah, most definitely. Are we recording? We are indeed. Smell that lovely smell. A lovely smell. It's like a uh, plant, isn't it? Plants. It's a, it's a certain plant. I don't know what it is, but. It reminds me of like a Victorian sort of smell. <laughs> a Victorian smell? No, I'm just talking crap, oh, don't worry about talking. it. <laughs> I often talk a load of old cobblers. Never mind. We don't mind, Colonel. <laughs> we keep talking cobblers. <laughs> It's been 
some uh, tree surgeon work. Yeah. That's another old one there, isn't it? Is that a pine tree, is it? It looks pine to me. Yeah, so that probably is not that old. Is it? They, they grow quite big, don't they? In a short space of time. <clears throat> I just wondered if that um, twisted tree was actually old. I'm embarrassed to say I don't know. But well, there is obviously trees in here that are well over a hundred years old. Easily. Like this one over here, look, that one's got to be a bit, got a, quite a bit of age to it. I mean, what tree that is, I don't know. It's a hippie. Actually, goes for miles, doesn't it? Yeah. It's miles and miles of it. I think it's about three miles from end to end. And then you've got everything else, so you, you're looking about five, six miles. Just like to say hi to everybody in chat. Hope you're all good. Blind them. <laughs> <laughs> Just show everyone your lights there, Colonel. That's, <laughs> That's just his head. Yeah, I'm like a lighthouse. Right, I know where we are now. So just down there on the right is the path that I took earlier and it takes you to the entrance, the, the driveway, which goes to the big house. At the end of it, you can look down, you can see the, the big house, basically. That's what I was saying, see here, there's the original... See the gatepost? There's the original gatepost. Yep. For the Bassett family. That is correct. So this would have been the drive into the nut house. That's correct. Into um, the asylum. Yep. If you had a pound for every person that's passed through this gate, you'd be a millionaire. Oh. The granite posts. Look at that. I mean, that's, that is history. Sorry, they're not granite, are they? They're, uh, they probably are granite inside, but they've got like a cement sort of wash on them. The old entrance to misery and abuse. This is it. Yeah. This is where people who um, had no hope left in them. Yeah, so it's quite a sad spot when you think about the history of the site. Would have been dragged into here. I think probably when the the family, original family was here, the trees were probably quite small compared to what they are today. Yeah, we would have had different... Uh... And the, the grounds would have been highly kept. There would have been a massive team of yeah. chaps uh, looking after the the grounds. So much has been removed. And I think the NHS weren't really interested in looking after the grounds, were they? I don't know. Just taking that in to where they would have been taken. Yeah. Just think of all the people that passed through down there. Yeah. yeah not just some, the some of them people that died in the actual hospital. Some of them would have been petrified. Yeah. Scared out of their life and Yeah. The unknown. I feel sorry for those folks, I really do. Today we've got a sense of well-being, but back in those days, people were quite cruel, didn't they? Yeah. 
beatings and, and such a like. Oh, that even went into the 2000s. Yeah. Abusing people in yes. mental hospitals. It's not good. One not good. farmers got closed for mental, um, mental abuse. It's not good. Patients. So this is the gate and that's the road. If you go out there, you look down, you'll be able to see the big house. Oh. Proper corners, that, isn't it? <laughs> this public walkway is close proximity to Tahiti Park Golf Club. If you hear a shout of four, please take cover at the health and safety of all Paramount Tahiti Car Park. <laughs> oh, now that looks crazy. So that look at that down there. Where it was, wasn't it? That's the big house, yeah. So what? That is the big house. You probably, probably could walk down there a little bit. Well the, well, the actual hospital, right? Some of the You're 90... Oh, there. sorry. Um, I know for a fact, right, because I obviously I've been here when the site was active. And over here, there was 1930s style wing where the wards were. There was two, one up, one down. And it's like two buildings right down through where all these new buildings are here. And then obviously the main bit is the old house. That was the main hospital bit, but these were wards right here. So here we had wards, yeah. stretching right down. Right down through, and there's stables just down quite about, I don't know, about 100 yards down on the left. There was stables there. I don't know if they're still there because obviously it's set in, the thing is it's civil trespass thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? See, now, this is the sort of stuff that gets up my back. No public access. Well, actually it is. This actually comes under um, right of way, and it actually comes under the countryside arc. Yeah, so if you want to walk down there a bit, I'm quite happy to. Seven, I believe. If you want to walk down a bit, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm quite happy down. to. Yeah. Should we go right up to the house? If anyone stops, I'll just say you told me to come. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I, I won't say what I would like to say on camera, but. <laughs> right, so all the way stretching down all those buildings there yeah so those houses were built on a brownfield site that means there was something there before i.e yeah. the wards you know but it's creepy walking down here you know what looking at that it makes me feel like that is the actual hospital well yeah it does give you the vibe doesn't it but it was built there wasn't it well that is the original That's lord the... bassett Dun 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 dunstanville mansion house that is it we're looking straight at it so isn't there still remnants of... Yeah, that is the big house. But no. the hospital, yeah, that was part of the hospital that I think most of the 1930s style buildings have been taken down. Who lives in this house then? No idea. Should we go and knock on the door? If you want to. Just knock on the door go, who lives in a house like this? <laughs> Are you Lord Bassett, my handsome? Well, I could just knock on the door and say, do you want a light boy? And then just say, yeah, I care no, are you? <laughs> but look, I'll ask for a fag. I'm sorry to bother you. Have you got a cigarette paper? Do you know, I think some of these might be second homes. Yes. Because they're all like dark. It's quite big, isn't it? Yeah. Decent sized house, aren't they? I think they call them townhouses, don't they? Dave's not on the door for a cigarette paper. I might just give it a gentle tap. A gentle tap. <laughs> Evening, folks. I was just wondering if you've got um, a cigarette. My sorry, my handsome. I got lost. I've never seen this house, so... I've, I've walked up to it before and I got told off, but that's about five, six years ago. Who told you off? They were developing it and the builders told me off. Oh, so this is a, this is not... Hold on. They were, sorry, they were renovating it because... Renovating it. Yeah, that's what so I meant. So this, this building here is centuries old? Yeah, it's probably about 200 years old. 200 years old. It's a manor house, basically. And this was the Bassetts? Lord Bassett de Dunstanville. So from what we read before we came in, I presume that they could have seen the sea from that place, over the cliffs? Um, going from my inboard, inbuilt GPS, I'm saying no, because we're in a bit of a valley and the trees are all around us. Okay. But if the trees were younger, possible. I swear if someone comes out, I'm just gonna say, put a fag. So the stables were here. Yeah, that looks like, yeah. I don't know, but I think that building's new, but the stables were here. There you go, the stables are still there, look, you can just see them over there. We can see, look, the tower above, look. Can you see it coming into view? Magic, isn't it? Absolute magic. 
It could be apartments. I, I, I just don't know. Just You'll have to Google it. This is the history. There you go. These are the original stables here. Stables, original stables. Magic, amazing. eh? Absolutely amazing. Little bunny rabbit. Oh, a rabbit. Now it's getting a bit creepy. Yeah, look at this, look. Because it's starting to... Oh. Look, this is crazy, isn't it? Look at it. There you go, guys. There's a tower clock. We'll probably get told off, but this matter of it. This is part of the Tahiti uh, Asylum. And this is all that's left. But I did hear attached to it this remnants of um part of the hospital as well like a little i i don't know but basically lord bassett lived there and uh he, he wasn't a bad person to be honest that's a lovely old building that it? it's a lovely building but all the misery that Went on I here. suppose if we went round there a bit, we could probably just sneak around. All the abuse. Yeah, there would have been. You think staff would have lived in that? Uh, staff usually would be upstairs, right, so like yeah. hidden away, or in their own wing or something like that. It's massive, isn't it? Yeah. Who owns it then? Um, it could be Cornwall Council, it could be a private individual, I have no idea. But if they got security, then uh, we'll find out in a bit. Fun, look. It's definitely got that country house vibe, isn't it? You see the oldest part on the top, look. Yeah. Isn't that the old vents, the air vents up there? Uh, chimneys. Are they? Yeah, they're chimneys. I thought the chimney was the middle one, white. What the other two were the air vents? Yeah, the white thing's probably a vent, but those are definitely chimneys, those granite things. And there would have been a lot of fires in this place. Yeah. And you can imagine the amount of coal that they would have used. A few cars around here, this is making me think this is apartments. Oh, no. You see the size of it, look at it all down here, look. I've never looked down here before. Yeah, that is. You see, you see this bit here. That looks like hospital bit to me. Right on our left here. Yeah. Spooky. I've never been here before. You've this is a. This is virgin ground. <laughs> oh, look at it. Lovely, isn't it? It's giving me the creeps, you know. There's going to be. Uh, Spirits in there without a doubt, but obviously we, we can't, we're not going to get in there, unfortunately. That looks like hospital to me, doesn't it? Don't you? Yeah, yeah. should we go a bit further? Yeah, I'm just having a look at the views. We can see. So many good comments. Are they commenting about it? I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, yeah, there's comments coming in. Oh, security said light came on there. It's probably just a motion sensor one. Any shops down here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? No idea. Nice Probably not. That's new stuff, isn't it? New stuff yeah. Oh. There was a hospital up around there. There was two parts. There was the, old, the one bit up there and there's a bit down here. And then there was this. Oh look, we've got even buildings down there, look. And cigarette papers. Bloody hell. Good Lord. Oh, that's the new bit, that is. You should be able to walk around there. This is new issue, isn't it? That looks uh, hospital-y to me. That's obviously, that's part of the original estate, but... It, you can see what it what it was. It's the size of the building that. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Bonkers.
There's more sort of leather. Yep. Magic. Yeah, that's definitely got a oh, look at that, look, that's like a crypt. Yeah, it's got a crypt. Oh, God, I can just feel the misery and the yeah. despair. Do you think dead bodies would have come out of that? I ain't got a clue. I can just feel all the misery and despair. Yeah. Hello, is there anyone here with us? Speaking to my camera. Probably a rabbit. Gives you that vibe, doesn't it? Where's the old chapel? No idea. Just heard something up there then. Can you get your camera through there? Where? Yeah. You can look through. Have you got any space left on your... Yeah, I'm rolling. I'm still rolling. Alright, let's go have a look. couldn't really see but but when I review the footage back we'll have a look then couldn't see I'm going to put this light out now. <laughs> wow, look at this. The Holman something. The Holman? Yeah, Holman's is compressed air rock drills. Yeah, I remember Holman. We've got people, hear that? They got us lost. Uh, yeah, I think we are a little bit lost. But we can just say that we got lost. Sorry. Oh shit! Look at that. Oh my god, that's crazy, isn't it? I didn't think any of this existed anymore. I've seen pictures of the family. They're they're on the internet. They're stuck. They're in this garden. The Victorian family. The Victorian family. Yeah, the Victorian family well, that I've lived here. On the grass here. Yeah, I've seen a picture of them eating dinner or, or a picnic or something. Crazy, eh? I think what we can do is just walk right around in a minute. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? What should, we, what should we do? We can just go down there and walk around. If anyone says anything, we just say we got a bit lost, sorry. I can't believe how big it is, you know. I'm just going to start talking gibberish, like I'm a foreigner. Can't believe how big it this place is. Yeah. 
Oh, there's the tower, look. So we just walked right around. And even live here and all that misery that happened. I just don't understand it. I couldn't do it. I can't believe how big this place is. Bonkers. Basically, we've just done a 360. Yep, we've worked round now. That was magic, that was. Uh, that's somewhere else, that is, but that's, that's the main entrance there. So we've just been right around. Amazing, look at it. Absolutely amazing. I had no idea any of this existed anymore. I didn't think it was that big. It's magic. Bloody crazy. Right, where are we going? Let's go up here, then back up. Let's go up here, then to the right. So this is the way we can't go out, I believe. It's extensive ground, isn't it? Yeah. That's a nice way. I can't believe how much of the original building is still there. That's crazy. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that walk around Lord Bassett's estate house, folks. Yeah. And the for it's the former hospital at Tahiti. Oh, someone's looking out the window at us. <laughs> Are they? Yeah, unless it was the headless man looking for some head. Really? Yeah, Was it a woman? No, I did, but we had a big fat head. Oh, right. Do you know what? I thought I'd just seen a woman in there dressed in like Victorian clothing. You've just seen a woman in Victorian clothing? Yeah, you know oh, the door. moving there, look. Oh, yeah. I wish it wasn't so cold, all the mist from my breath. I thought I'd seen a woman there. Bloody hell. Oh, there is someone there. I can see them in the window next to the door. Just come out and give me a fag. Well, so what we've just seen is... Um, Magic, eh? Centuries old buildings dating back to the Bassett family of Cornwall, which was then turned into a mental hospital, an asylum, and most of that's gone now. Your your voice is echoing back. What do you mean? It's, it's echoing back from the building. Like, listen, listen to my voice, ready? Hello? Did you do that? Hello? Yeah. Right, you? What up? Canberra O'Neill coming down. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's very echoey. Yeah? <laughs> that's amazing seeing all that history. Yeah, that's the first time ever I've been right round the whole building. Oh, see? So it's the first time Colonel's ever been round the whole building. He was too afraid before. Yeah. So where would the hospital that got knocked down? Where was that? Right here, right here, right up through. So they must have used those buildings. Yeah. For patients as well. Yeah, yeah, they, they had, did. Had to have. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. Yeah. I don't know if there was a theatre down there, the the type where they work on people's bodies, if you know what I mean. So why did they remove the building that was here? Because surely that must have been listed. Um. I don't think it was. It was 1930s style. Oh, smell that. Is that carnations? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love the smell of carnations. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so it was like two or three wards down here, two stories. Right. And it was like right up the top there, right down through here, and right down just before you get to the stables down there. Uh, it was quite a big one. <clears throat> 
Well, that was brilliant. I enjoyed that. Oh, then I enjoyed that one, folks. Yeah, it's another one ticked off my list. Folks again. <laughs> I was half expecting somebody to come out and go, you can't come here, boy. <laughs> i tell you something, back when the Bassets were here, there's no way we would have been allowed to do that. No. You'd have been flogged. Yeah. Old man would have come out and said, you commoners, piss off. <laughs> or something to that effect. Bassett family brought wealth to this area, didn't they? They did, yeah. They were they were a nice family. Yeah. They looked after the locals. Which country were they from? From this country. They weren't from Cornwall, Bassett's. No, I don't think they were from Cornwall, but... They came from abroad. Did they? Yeah. Oh, well, I've learned something. You're supposed something. to know all this stuff. Well, I suppose to, but I don't know everything, unfortunately. Oh, I, I know like, a lot of things. South Africa? South Africa. I don't know. Africano. It came from somewhere, it wasn't here. Well, the Lord Bassett, um, he was alright to be honest, because like I said, he created that hospital in Red Roof to look after the miners, because obviously problems with people hurting themselves uh, yeah. was quite common. Yeah. <coughs> so he was quite well respected. You have to hold it down there, does it? Yeah. yeah. To be honest, there's probably a lot of souls down there. Oh, 100%. Um, which are trapped in the in the walls. I couldn't live there, even though I had the opportunity. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't mind spending the night there, but I wouldn't live there. I think it would be a good place to do an investigation. Yeah. But I don't think the owners would allow that, do you? I can't believe someone's actually lived in that massive house. Well, there's clearly a woman there. Unless she was a spirit, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the lights are on. But she's clearly looking at us. Hey? Eh? Clearly looking at us. She was clearly looking at us. Yeah. I mean, look at all these buggers out there. Yeah. There must be a lot of curious folk that probably have walked around there like that. Wouldn't surprise me. Ah. Oh. I hope you enjoyed that. Everyone at home, little tour there. Talking about the history. Yeah, I did. I think I did. Bit on edge, I must admit, but. Oh, he was on edge, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but we persevered, battled through it. All is good. Well, this is quite a popular uh, top place uh, during the day for families and all. Yeah. Well, they've got Rogue Theatre here as well. Ah. Does all spooky stuff in the night. Start Did they do that Halloween thing? Yeah, and they're starting stuff this month here as well. Oh, yeah. Three days this month. Oh, good. Magic. Some theatre stuff. Yeah, it's good, that. Right, so I'm going to stop rolling now. I'm going to stop rolling? Yep, so I've, been, I've recorded all of that. Okay. So, folks, we'll uh, see you again on another video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please go over to Ghost Adventures of the Cornwall and say that I sent you. And don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, see you later. Cheers and gone. Big thanks to Mark from Ghost Adventures of Cornwall for allowing us to be part of tonight's paranormal investigation at the well-haunted Tahiti Woods. A lot of mystery about that place, folks. Anyway, so we'll be back again in a couple of days with some new explorers. See you then, folks. Cheers and gone. Till